Hey guys, my name is Three Shot, and I'm just going to show you how to farm Pier 93 Wave 10 with three caches by uh, Wave 8. And I'm going to show you my gear setup first, and I'm going to get into a little bit of gameplay, and you can take a look. Um, there's like a couple main important things that you need. You need for this is that you need a gun with commanding and determined to have infinite tack link. By the way, this is unscripted, um, so you know, bear with me here. Uh, so. You need commanding, determined, and then whatever else other talent you want. I mean, commanding and determined is pretty much the the main thing you need to always have tackling available and using the extra damage boost. It's way better to have those two talents than any other two talents in the uh, the game because you can have tackling. The tackling buff is insane. You run a six piece striker, obviously, um, and nothing and enemy armor damage on every piece of gear that you can uh, you can get enemy armor damage everywhere. So you have the maximum amount of damage possible. Um, that's just a general rundown of my gear. That's pretty much all you need uh, to, to get started with the, the clear. Uh, the second thing that you need is a two-man team. If you run four men, you're not going to have... It's, it's just going to be bad. Um, the enemies have more life. It's difficult to communicate with, more difficult to communicate with four people. You just need two people, yourself and whatever else player. It really it doesn't matter what they are. It's better to have a reclaimer though, because you are using your commanding to get your tactical link back. So that's good to have a reclaimer. So you can get all the kills and let him just do his thing on the Katam rounds and whatever else. He's just like kind of a tank. Um, you can run with two striker. You can run it. You can carry someone with it and just run with your friend. Um, but you need two people just because of the significant buffs you get from only using two people. It's just much easier to clear the mission and kill the enemies. The faster you kill the enemies, the more SHD you get. Uh, when I'm when I'm doing it two man, I can I can generally get a good 20,000 SHD by around 8. Some I mean my max has been 30,000 by round 8. Uh, and that, that, that's like that's like almost four caches basically. Like you if you farm the boss round a little bit, you can get four caches by wave 10. So um, it's definitely worth it. I'm gonna show you now the the farm method that I that I use. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is just clear the main one, two, three waves. On the third wave, you're gonna want to open up the entrance to the main yard, and then run to the middle. I'm a little late because um, I really give a shit. Um, I just want to get the video out so I can help you guys do some farming. Okay, so you just you open the door, run to the middle, and you just chill in the middle there. The reason why we stay in the middle is because you have uh, enemies coming at you from all angles, and they run to you. Use your radar to see where they are, and um, you should be able to get really, really fast kill times. As I'm going to show you a little bit of this clip. I'm going to let this clip ro roll out for a little bit, and you can see kind of how fast um, you know, I, can, I can get them to respawn, how fast I can kill them. And uh, it just, it's very, very easy. Bear with me, I'm running uh, 30 FPS, I think, or maybe like 60 or something like that. So my shot is shitty, but like I, get, like I said, I'm just trying to get the video out. Um, I don't really care. Uh, I just want to help you guys out. So take a look at the gameplay, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so the next uh, point you're going to want to do after the data breach of the boss wave, you want to open up the uh, the first gate, and then you want to go into the showroom. And I'll show you that right now. The reason why you go into the showroom is because you're going to camp up in the little uh, square area from with the stairs. And the reason why you do that is just, again, because you want the enemies to spawn as fast as... Like, you want to kill the enemies as fast as possible. And when you're in this area right here, you are, the enemies will spawn in the same room as you. So like you can immediately start killing them instead of going to the back room uh, in the hallway. Like sometimes the enemies are a bit you, you can't see them immediately. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit of uh, of what I mean here. I kind of just a little bit and, and just farm it out. But there's a couple bosses that 
are harder, like the flame dude, he because he, he will just follow you up the stairs. This time I got lucky, I got Lara, which is fine. Like she does she does shit, like she just stands there and basically shoots shit at you. If you ever claim her, you're good. Um, but this is the way that I do it and just keep tackling up the whole way. Um, like I said, if you do it right with two people, you're gonna get like 20k SHD and you can get two by wave eight when you perfect it.